Melbourne, the capital of Victoria, is the second largest city in Australia. It has a population of just over 4 million people and is a picturesque place with so much to offer visitors. The city is a dynamic metropolis with an exciting city centre, lush green parks and mountain ranges where you can enjoy Australian nature at its finest. Voted one of the world's most livable cities, Melbourne is a beautiful destination and a popular choice for both international and interstate travellers. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Melbourne, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is the Dandenong Ranges National Park. The Dandenong Ranges is a picturesque mountain range on the outskirts of Melbourne, and it's a perfect spot for walkers, cyclists, hikers, nature lovers, and bird watchers. Kookaburras, cockatoos, crimson rosellas, and other native birds call this place home. The park has an abundance of crystal clear streams, waterfalls, and creeks, and has an extensive network of walking trails. Number 9 is the Hop On Hop Off Bus. Get the ultimate sightseeing experience around the beautiful city of Melbourne and the sunny seaside suburb of St Kilda. Hop on and hop off when you feel like exploring on foot, and there are 27 spots placed along the route to maximize your enjoyment of the city. Stops along the way include Queen Victoria Market, Harbour Town, Fitzroy Gardens, South Melbourne Beach, Sea Life Aquarium, the Eureka Sky Deck, and more. At number 8 is the Royal Botanical Gardens, Victoria. The Botanical Gardens are a walking distance from the city centre and offer an oasis of calm, peace, and greenery just outside of the urban bustle. They extend across 36 hectares that slope to the river with trees, garden beds, lakes, and lawns. With more than 8,500 plant types, a mix of Australian species and non-native, the gardens are a popular spot for visitors. Number 7 is Melbourne Zoo. Melbourne Zoo opened in 1862 and holds the distinction of being Australia's oldest zoo. It is located within Royal Park in Parkville, approximately 4 kilometres north of the centre of Melbourne. The zoo is home to more than 320 animal species from all around the world, most of which are free to roam in areas that mimic their own natural habitats. At number 6 is Eureka Tower Sky Deck. Located at the top of the iconic Eureka Tower skyscraper, the sky deck provides 360-degree views of the city and is one of the tallest observation decks in the world. The building was officially opened in October 2006, and here you can see Melbourne from above. Some of the windows are lined with real 24-karat gold, symbolizing the historic Eureka Stockade Gold Miners' Rebellion in Australian history. Number 5 is the National Gallery of Victoria. The National Gallery of Victoria popularly known as the NGV, is an art museum in Melbourne. Founded in 1861, it is Australia's oldest, largest and most visited art museum. Local artists are mostly featured, although there are works from international masters. Aside from its permanent collection, NGV also holds exhibitions and special events, such as the annual Melbourne Winter Masterpiece Series. The museum's collections are located in two buildings, the Ian Potter Centre in Federation Square and the main building on St Kilda Road. Both sites are open daily. At number 4 is Luna Park, Melbourne. Melbourne's Luna Park is a historic amusement park located on the fresh shore of Port Phillips Bay in St Kilda. It opened on the 13th of December 1912 and has been operating almost continuously ever since. The park known for its perimeter roller coaster and giant ornate carousel both give a taste of what theme parks of the past must have been like. The Luna Park itself is free entry and you only pay for what you ride. With such a rich history, this site makes it worth visiting in its own right. Number 3 is Sea Life Melbourne Aquarium. The Sea Life Melbourne Aquarium is a Southern Ocean and Antarctic Aquarium in central Melbourne. It is located on the banks of the Yarra River, beside and under the Flinders Street Viaduct. The interactive multi-level aquarium houses over 10,000 aquatic animals, including seahorses, rays, and saltwater crocodiles. Visitors can spend hours exploring underwater exhibits across 11 themed zones, from shark spotting at Shipwreck Explorer to watching cheeky penguins dive into the water. At number 2 is Werribee Open Range Zoo. Werribee Open Range Zoo is an African-themed zoo in Werribee, about 32 kilometers southwest of Melbourne. The zoo offers a unique opportunity to experience an African adventure and encounter the magnificent animals of the African savanna. The 200-hectare property is home to some of Africa's most iconic animals, as well as wildlife from the grasslands of Asia, North America, and Australia. 
It's a great place to keep younger travelers entertained, and with African-style safari tours, also a lot of fun for wildlife-loving adults. And at number one is the Melbourne Star Observation Wheel. With its striking scale and innovative design, the Melbourne Star is an iconic feature of Melbourne's waterfront precinct. A spectacular LED display transforms the wheel into a giant, glittering kaleidoscope of color as the Melbourne Star glides on its gentle arc through the sky. The 21 spacious, temperature-controlled cabins give an unparalleled 360-degree view of the city. Visitors are able to walk around and take in the sights from all angles, while the audio commentary gives a brief introduction to the history and significance of the landmarks below. So that sums up our top 10 things to do in Melbourne. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.